This is the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Look at the eyes, the teeth, hear the roar. It's terrifying. But what if I told you Spielberg got it wrong? T-Rexes weren't dark and drab. T-Rexes may have been as bright as parrots. How do we know? Well, new research is causing a big shift in how we picture dinosaurs. And I think people will be really surprised when that they see some of the colors and the look of what a modern view of Tyrannosaurus Rex would be. Let's start digging. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Jones, and welcome to Cheddar Explorers. The first step in building a picture of a dinosaur is finding their remains. We don't have anything unless we find their bones, and we still do it the old way. Really that the way in which that we look for these things hasn't changed in the last 150 years. But paleontologists don't just dig at random. Dinosaur bones are often found at the surface. The bones are then carefully removed and brought back to the lab. At that point, it's like a puzzle without having the picture on the front of the box to help. Mark shared that at most digs, you'll typically find 10% of an animal or less. And on top of that, of the 1,200 species of non-avian dinosaurs discovered, most depictions are based on only one individual find. In order to paint a complete picture of these animals, there are a lot of gaps to fill in. And we have two ways of filling in those gaps. The first is through technology. Scientists are able to use CAT scan radiation and synchrotron radiation to look inside fossilized bones. Then, with the help of a computer, scientists can draw the muscles that were once attached. That'll give you a better idea of what the dinosaur looked like and how it moved. Our second method of determining what a dinosaur looked like is common ancestors. We now know dinosaurs are closely related to crocodiles and birds. And the connection between dinosaurs and birds can't be overstated. I mean, birds are just as much a type of dinosaur as humans are a primate. So we can study birds and we can understand a lot of things about both dinosaur behavior, dinosaur appearance, dinosaur physiology, and just their biology in general. Meaning a raptor was less of this and more like a flightless version of this. The close relationship between dinosaurs and birds is why scientists think that feathers are a prevalent feature in dinosaurs. Feathers were found in common ancestors of both dinosaurs and birds, meaning every creature along that branch of the evolutionary tree has had access to that trait. It's a similar rationale for like Australopithecus, like early humans. Nobody's ever found hair on a fossil of like Lucy or anything like that. But chimps have hair and we have hair. And we're descended from the same common ancestor. Hair didn't evolve twice. So we would predict that those animals would have had hair as well. Dinosaurs' close relation to birds also tells us that dinosaurs were brighter in appearance than we thought. So why is that the case? Well, let's look at mammals. Mammals are pretty drab. I mean, that they're brown, they're black, they're that kind of thing. And a lot of that has to do is that mammals don't see in color. Of course, there are a few exceptions like gorillas, chimps, and us. Hello. But the point is many mammals are drab because there's less of an incentive to be bright. Mammals across the spectrum champion smell, whereas birds prioritize sight. Not only are birds brilliantly colored, they're more brilliantly colored than we think because we just can't see it. Birds can see way into the ultraviolet. And that helps them with camouflage and choosing a mate. The same goes for another living relative of dinosaurs, the reptile. The theory is because birds and reptiles can see in color, so can dinosaurs. But there's even more technical evidence than that. There are organelles in most animals called melanosomes. What they do is store and transport melanin, which is the most common light-absorbing pigment in the animal kingdom. The shape of an animal's melanosomes determines what color that animal will be. Now, when we find dinosaur remains, scientists can study the shape of these organelles and compare those results against what we know about animals today, like birds. This finding shows that dinosaurs are brighter than scientists thought. So how do we know what dinosaurs look like? Well, because we know what birds look like. By the way, in case you're wondering what a dinosaur expert thinks about when watching Jurassic Park. Well, really nothing because I don't see him. <laughs> but I have no problem with however they want to depict him. It's not supposed to be a documentary. It's not supposed to be scientifically accurate. It's supposed to be entertaining. And if people find it entertaining, go for it. I really don't care if it's scientifically accurate. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're making a lot of fun stuff here at Cheddar and we hope you keep watching.